I'm going to teach you how to take a screenshot of a system that has private information so that you don't share anything secret. I'm going to use Gmail, but this trick will work pretty much in any web application. We're going to need to use the developer tools. And let's use this inspect tool from here and check what is the element that contains this uh, author name. You're going to see it says here YW for this class. And this might be unique so that only authors here are going to get that class in their element. But we're going to have to check that to be sure. Anyway, let's have a look also at the email content. So this seems to be in a class called XT. So let's try starting with that. And I'm going to go here in the console and we'll try to access these texts, the content of the email. I will say text is equal to document get elements by class name. And let's use this XT like so. Enter. And if we now look what these texts are, we're going to see an HTML collection like this, 50 items. And if we expand on them, looks like this is the first content here. Let's have a look at the second and the inner HTML seems to be the second one. It looks like this might be correct. Let's try to change this value to something else. I'm going to loop through all of these texts. And replace the inner HTML with some message. And it had this effect. By the way, I'm typing on different lines like this by holding shift and pressing enter at the end of each line. So we are replacing some original content with something else using these couple of tricks. Let's do the same thing and see if it works for the author names. Going to get the elements by class Y capital W. And let's try to replace the text of these authors with author. Like so. And seems like both of these work actually. Now, of course, you can replace these with some hard coded strings, but that would be a very, very much work. Instead, uh, we are going to use an API for that. There is this one that has a list of predefined quotes listed here. And we are going to have to read it to fetch this data. And it's going to be in JSON form. Then we have to parse it and keep in mind the structure. So it looks like uh, an attribute quotes containing an array of quotes with author name and the quote itself. So let's try to get that and replace these values with the contents from the API. I'm going to clear this and fetch from the URL like so. And then we are going to pass a callback function and get the response. So here we need to return the JSON contents from the response. And this returns another promise, actually. So we have to use then again. And here we have access to the actual data. Let's log it to see how it looks like. 
and I'm going to close these and enter. And the result looks like this. We have the quotes here, 30 different quotes, and uh, they seem to have that structure that we saw previously. So the author and quote, author and quote. Let's take these out. And uh, I'm going to clear and press the up key. This will bring back the previous command I typed. And instead of logging the result here, we are going to replace the contents of those texts and authors from previously. Let me just say here, Q is equal to data of quotes so that I don't type too long strings. And now let's loop through all of these quotes like so. And I want to take out the author and the quote from each. So I'm going to use object destructuring like so is equal to Q of I. And now I'm going to set in texts of I inner HTML the quote and in authors of I inner HTML the author. Let's close this curly brace and enter. And there you go. Of course, now you can close the developer tools. And this is going to be what you're going to take the screenshot of. And there are other APIs for generating quotes as well. There's even one from Breaking Bad. So do your research if you want to find something different here. But I hope you like this. Thanks for watching and see you guys.